The long-standing conflict between 50 Cent and Diddy has spanned over a decade, originating in the early 2000s when 50 Cent claimed that Diddy was implicated in the murder of rapper Biggie Smalls, also known as Notorious B.I.G. In 2015, their feud reached a new level when both artists launched their own vodka brands, engaging in public disputes about each other's brands on social media. Another rapper entangled in a dispute with Diddy is Kendrick Lamar, with the feud commencing in 2013 at an MTV VMA's afterparty at NYC Stream Hotel. Rumors circulated that an intoxicated Diddy attempted to confront Lamar, potentially even pouring a drink over his face, due to Lamar's self-proclaimed title as the King of New York in a song. At the 2013 MTV VMA afterparty, Diddy engaged in a physical altercation with rapper J. Cole. Speculation suggests that the incident occurred because Cole intervened to prevent Diddy, upset about Kendrick Lamar's lyrics, from throwing a drink at Lamar. Merely a year after the altercation with J. Cole, Diddy had a physical altercation with Drake, which transpired at LIV nightclub in Miami Beach. The dispute arose from a conflict over the song, Zero to 100, both rappers vying to record it, with Drake securing it first. American singer Cassie Ventura and Diddy were in a relationship for over a decade until their permanent separation in 2018. Since then, the former couple has engaged in a feud, posting cryptic messages online. In 2018, Eminem alleged in a song that Diddy was involved in the murder of rapper Tupac Shakur. Two years later, a leaked song featuring Eminem surfaced, in which he criticized Diddy's Revolt TV channel. Wendy's feud with Diddy dates back to 1998 when, working as a radio host, she claimed that Diddy might be gay. Diddy responded by orchestrating Wendy's dismissal from the station. The conflict with Suge Knight began in 1995 when Knight publicly called out Diddy, who owns Bad Boys Records, for appearing excessively in music videos of his artists.